Okay. Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm a global artist ambassador for Phoenix 360, and I'm blessed to be joined today by the music artist Sugar Nap. Hey, Sugar, how are you, man? Hey, Johnny, doing good, man. How you doing? All right, good, brother. Listen, thanks for hooking up with me today. And lo what I'd love to do, Sugar Nap, is share some of your music that's available up on your YouTube channel. Okay, if we tune into your track, Harms? Sounds great. All right, killer. All right, everyone, let's tune in now to Sugar Nap and Harms. Sugar, great to share your music with everybody. Thanks, brother. And listen, can you tell me where you're from and how did you become a music artist? Yeah, I'm from I'm from Seattle, Washington, United States. Um, I started playing music. Well, I've been saying ten years for the last three years, so probably closer to fourteen years now, I guess. Um, all my uh, my family plays. My dad played. Um, I, I'm kind of the first one to to pursue it as a real serious music career. But they're all excellent, excellent musicians. My dad wrote a lot of music. Um, so I started Sugar Nap about uh, three or four years ago. Um, I've been going pretty hardcore with that. I've been in a few bands before that. But um, yeah, I've been playing in bands for, for quite a long time, mostly local here in, in Seattle area. That's cool, Sugar. You know what I mean? Seattle's such a great market for which to be able to, and all this great music has emerged from there. You know what I mean? I was really lucky to be there in the early 90s when it was really kind of its heyday in terms of the focus on Nirvana and Pearl Jam and other these, these bands that are so iconic, you know, and I'm sure have been inspirations for you and your dad too, you know what I mean? I'm sure is probably the primary influence in, in you becoming a music artist, but how about some of those other artists, maybe even some that I mentioned that's from your local area, but, you know, that may have influenced your sound. You know, yeah, it's, it's fun. Those, uh, some of those local Seattle artists because Harms, my new song that just came out today was I recorded the drums. I record all my parts for all my songs, but I recorded the drums for Harms at London Bridge Studio where Alice in Chains and Soundgarden and uh, Temple of the Dog and a bunch of big Seattle Titans all recorded back. I mean, they're, they're big records, you know, so it's really cool. I'm real close with the guys up there and I've got I've got a lot of other work coming from up there. But besides those guys, man, I mean, those are it's a given how much those, those guys influenced me just being around Seattle. Um, yeah. I think number one for me has got to be uh, Pink Floyd. Okay, Pink cool. Floyd's always been kind of my number one uh, favorite uh, band. You know, when I was, was probably 10, 10 or 12 years old, uh, my dad called me into his office and had me turn off the lights and sat me on his lap and, and uh, sat me down in front of his, his fancy uh, desktop studio monitors where he does I mean, just paperwork and stuff, but he's got to listen to, gotta listen to good, good tunes. Anyway, he, uh, he played all the dark side of the moon for me. Uh -huh. in one go. and uh and i remember thinking wow this is i mean that was my first time really hearing any you know real music outside of just kind of praise and worship music because i grew up in the church with my mom and dad playing 
that was great too but hearing pink floyd was just mind-blowing right so yes exactly. so they've been a big influence and my family jammed a lot on you know crosby stills and nash and um young and all those guys uh, Joni mitchell and jackson brown um james taylor so it was a lot of the early 60s and 70s folk uh stuff because we all sang so we do family harmonies and stuff like oh that. that's great man I grew up on yeah. a lot of that now you know i love a lot of hip-hop too and and some more like vibey kind of down tempo electronic stuff i'm a huge fan of psychedelic rock and all that so um yeah my roots are definitely in the old 60s and 70s folk and and uh and rock yeah. Well, you know what, bud? Me too. Like, you know, I mean, that's how I got into guitar. You know what I mean? Got my first like Bob Dylan, you know, songbook and kind of, you know, and then like, you know, there was a bunch of other songbooks I got after that related to a lot of the 70s acoustic guitar music. Like you mentioned, Jim Croce as well. And like, you know, and, and, and I love the fact that your family, like, you know, had this musical inclination and family sing-alongs kind of thing in which you participated. And um, that's really a blessing that you kind of received that um, gift from your family's enthusiasm around music. And a lot of those 70 stars we just talked about, they have such soul, man. So, and such depth and meaning to their lyrics. Um, and so uh, these are great inspirations for you and your music. I can recognize that. Thanks for that. Now, let me ask this question. What are, what is um, the band and you collaborating on right now to develop? What's coming up soon? Um, right now, uh, speaking of Pink Floyd, actually, I've got a session uh, next week with um, Durga McBroom, who toured with Pink Floyd for uh, 30 years. She wow. was on their last three albums. She sang Great Gig in the Sky on, on the last, you know, couple legs of the tours, um, toured with David Gilmore. Anyway, she's coming in and doing a session with me. And so that's, we got a couple new songs um, coming up here all singles as well as my new song harm those are all singles coming off of a uh, an upcoming album coming out later this year so that's we've great had, uh, we had some really cool people joining the album um uh some people i don't want to don't want to put out their name just yet the recording okay. done, but understood yeah cool, uh, seattle titans who've worked with i mean just bands everybody knows i mean really cool musicians so i'm feeling real blessed to have put together such a cool team and recording a lot at London Bridge studio and then a lot at here at my home studio. So kind of bouncing between the two spots, but getting ready for a lot of shows locally festivals and, and getting ready for this album coming out. And so uh -huh. a couple new singles that's coming good. out. That's a lot of progress, sugar. I, I really dig it. And listen, you know, where you do your studio mixes, I mean, that's hallowed ground. If you think about all the other, as you say, Titans that have emerged from that location. Um, yeah. And then what you're doing also in your own studio as well. And then some of the up and coming performances that we can anticipate for you. So do you use your social media as a means for which to help present and promote what you're, what you're progressing with? Yeah, totally. That's, that's kind of the main way to stay up to date with what's going on. Um, I'm, I'm sugar nap on Facebook. If you just look up sugar nap. On Instagram, it's official sugar nap is my tag. Um, YouTube, if you just punch in sugar nap, it shouldn't be hard to miss me. And then my website is official sugarnap.com. Nice. Uh, website's got uh, event day songs. And I mean, that's all the stuff. The mailing list. I'm not too annoying with my mailing list stuff because I know some people can be. So I do something once every couple of months, kind of update, but, but it's, it's worth subscribing to. There's usually a lot of fun stories and, you know, hearing how I, I'm recording a tape and then playing it backwards and then slowing it down to create a certain effect. And I kind of break down some of that fun stuff or That's telling people cool. where my songs are written. I was surfing it, or other. It's good that you use kind of a drip irrigation style to, to update and, and to keep dropping, you know, new information and, and, and relating to your audience, you know, even on a semi-regular basis, um, and maybe not every day, but that's what we, we, we anticipate when you do. It's like, oh, there's something special that's just dropped. Um, yeah. So I think that's actually strategic and cool. Um, and then also, you know, the social platforms, you mentioned your website, you know, these are all links that we'll put below our interview today. And then we're also, Sugar, looking forward to you coming up on the Phoenix 360 app so that yeah, you can connect with with fans that way and and take advantage of the utility and the community of other artists and fans that take advantage of the phoenix 360 platform we're really happy to have you part of it man really excited really excited about it man yeah 
Cool. All right, everybody, then tune in to Sugar Naps social media links below and look for them on Phoenix 360. And thank you, brother. Keep, keep it real, man. I appreciate you. Keep rising. Yeah, man. Thanks so much for having me. You're welcome, bro. Take care. There's nobody to tell you how to choose your love You just pick somebody and run Dreams are made to set fire with wiry haste You All that I see is all these people